Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to perform selection in our Blazor Tree Grid Control. I will also show you different selection types, modes, checkbox selection, toggle selection, and its APIs. Let's start with the coding part. I open my existing Blazor WebAssembly app, which already has the Syncfusion Blazor Tree Grid package installed. On the index.razor page, I have included the basic tree grid rendering code. If you want to learn how to create a basic Blazor WebAssembly app and add a Syncfusion component, please refer to the video linked in the card above or in the description below. You can visualize task details in a tree grid with this code. Let me run the application to show the tree grid. Look here, the tree grid is displayed with the hierarchical data. I can select a row with mouse down or keyboard interaction. By default, I can select a single row. To select more than one row or cell at a time, I include the tree grid selection settings tag and set its type to selection type multiple. As you can see, the selection type enum is used from the Blazor grid package, which I have already added to the underscore imports.razor page. Now I just hold the control key and click the desired rows for multiple selections. To select a range of rows, I hold the shift key and click the target rows. Let's see the three modes of tree grid selection, row, cell, and both. The row is the default selection mode. To perform cell selection, I include the mode property in tree grid selection settings and set a value to the selection mode.cell. Check the tree grid. I can select multiple cells instead of an entire row. Here I hold the shift key and select a cell range. Cell selection has two modes, flow and box. Flow is the default mode. From the output, you can see all the cells between the targeted start and end cells are selected. To change the selection mode to box, I include the cell selection mode property in tree grid selection settings and set its value to cell selection mode.box. Check now. I click any cell and hold the shift key. Then click the end cell. Notice here, only cells corresponding to the columns that lie on the selected range are selected. Now I change the selection mode to both. See here, I'm able to select row and cell. Let's see how to perform checkbox selection. To render a checkbox on each tree grid row, I simply add a tree grid column tag with the type as column type dot checkbox. Then I change the tree column index value to 2 to maintain the expand or collapse button in the task name column. Then I remove the other properties I had set earlier in selection settings. Check now, the tree grid is rendered with checkboxes on each row. To select or unselect entire rows, I use the checkbox in the header. I can select the desired row by clicking it or click the checkbox in any row. To allow selection only using the checkbox, I enable the checkbox only property in tree grid selection settings. See now, a row is selected with a checkbox only. This is the default checkbox selection mode. The other checkbox mode is reset on row click, which allows us to select only one row at a time. To enable this mode, I include checkbox mode and set its value to checkbox selection type dot reset on row click. Then I remove the checkbox only property. Look here, only one row can be selected at a time. Next, I'll show you how to enable or disable the toggle button. By default, toggle selection is enabled in a tree grid. To disable it, I set false to the enable toggle property in the tree grid selection settings. As you can see, now the toggle selection is disabled. To select a tree grid row at initial loading, I simply include the selected row index property in the SF tree grid tag and specify the index of the row to be selected. The specified row index is selected, as you can see. Finally, 
I will show you how to perform multiple selections using the select rows async method. To demonstrate this, I'm going to add a sync fusion button. I add a namespace syncfusion.blazer.buttons. I include SF button and set its content as the selection API. Then I add the on click event with the button click callback function. In the style element, add margin style to align the button. To call the select rows async method, I get the SF tree grid instances using at ref property. In the at code directive, I define the component and define the button click method. Then in the select rows async method, I specify the array of row indexes to be selected. Check the tree grid. When I click the selection API button, the specified row indexes will be selected. The selected rows are cleared using the clear selection async method. I comment the select rows async method and use the clear selection async in button click callback method. See now, I select multiple rows and the selection will be cleared when I click the button. To learn more about selection APIs, check the UG link in the description. Let me recap what we have seen so far. I showed you how to perform selection in our Blazor tree grid control. We have also seen the different selection types, modes, checkbox selection, toggle selection, and APIs. You can download a working example from the GitHub link in the description for this video below. You can also see if you're eligible for our community license, which will provide you a free license key to use our products. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel.